What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we have, you guys have heard me complain about this for a while. This front brake on the passenger side is sticking. So today guys, it already has a new caliper on it. Uh, that video is super old, but we did do that already a while ago. So now that we've already done the caliper, the tires have been bounced, everything cleaned up, new pads, rotors, uh, everything over here, and it's still, still dragging. We're gonna replace this soft line here. So we have this part from Ford. This is a good time if you wanna get stainless brake lines. I really wanted to, I just didn't have time to get them. This is all peeling off refinish that anyway so this is a good time if you wanted to to go to stainless braided lines i do really like them i have them on the white truck i just didn't have i don't have the time to do them all right now so we're just going with the factory replacement here got it from ford i'll have the part number for you guys but basically has this bracket there's a bracket down here we're gonna loosen up and then of course off of the caliper itself. Now, how did I determine that this caliper is sticking versus just having excessive brake dust? Very simple, when we jacked this front end up at some point uh, with the hubs unlocked, we're not trying to turn everything, but the hubs were unlocked. And what we did is literally, we just turned the wheel and this wheel takes significantly more force to turn. Now, is it, is it possible that the caliper could still be bad? Yes, it's just not likely since I've had the problem immediately following changing it. Brake lines do fail. You don't hear a lot of people talk about it, but if you're having repeat failures on a caliper, replace all your lines, there's a good chance that's your problem. So just side note for you. Also, don't forget your copper washer. So we're gonna get ready to pop this line off here, I'm sure. I'm really worried that we're gonna give ourselves a bigger issue than we already have here with that particular piece there. But, oh well. Then we're gonna rotate tires today too because these tires need rotated, so. So, couldn't get something off, so we got some map gas out. Propane should work too. This right here, this wouldn't come loose. Now we have it, so it'll work. Typically as brake fluid starts coming out, it starts smoking too because it's a little on the hot side. Uh, so anyway, it's at least broken free. We're going to get moving so we can get the uh, rest of this out, but it's at least broken free, but that was a pain in the butt. So, uh, don't over tighten that when you, uh, tighten it back up to get to the rest of it. Would be easier if I just had the tire off, but I'm being lazy. So, oh, well, anyway, just wanted to let you know issue there. Got it heated up. I don't really don't want brake fluid dripping everywhere. So I need to get on to fixing that. Be back with you guys in a little bit. So, what we did here is we started. I clamped this hose. This is the old hose. We're getting rid of it, so I don't care about it. Plus, it's most likely damaged anyway. So, it's not like we're saving something here. Anyway, so I have that clamped off so this guy's not really leaking. And then we're just starting to remove this from everything. And we're putting we're putting the new hose in its line. So the new hose is just right here. I'm gonna start the truck and turn this the other way. We have this hooked up on the brake caliper, tight, the new hose that is. So, and you wanna remember, brake fluid is pretty harsh stuff. So once we're done, we gotta clean this all up. But So it's hooked up on the brake caliper with the new one. Then we're gonna turn this now and we're gonna start messing with the old stuff. But everything's all loose, it's just a matter of replacing it now, so. I'll be able to show you a better picture once we get this wheel turned. Like I said, this guy's clamped off here. He's now jammed in there. That stinks. But we can start fitting this new line where we need it. So this will go here. There we go. So that'll mount right there. So we just gotta take that, loosen that and put that bracket in there. So that's next on the agenda. Once we get that done, I'll be back to you guys in a little bit. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, guys, helps the channel out a lot. Don't forget your 6O Bro merch. This is one of our making 6Os great again. Down below, Teespring's where this is at. We also have our Delete Tune Stud Repeat with 6O Bros on the front. So, and of course the SOB and making 6Os, 
SOB on the front, making 6 O's great again on the back. Go check them out. That was one you guys demanded I make and it's up there, so go check it out. Okay, so there's gonna be air in this line, guys. So what we need to do is we need to bleed it. And we basically have to push all the air out of this line into the caliper. It probably would have been best to just let it leak from the caliper in hindsight. In hindsight, guys, doing this, start at that connection up there and just put a bucket to set the other end in while you do the rest. That way you can bleed the whole line instead of what I'm about to do. What I'm about to do is gonna suck, but oh well. So anyway, you gotta, we gotta bleed this whole line, so I'm gonna start doing that. I'm doing it by myself, it could, it's not super fun, but typically you, you pump the brake, get it nice and firm, and then I come out here and I quick crack it open, close it. And we're gonna repeat that a bunch of times till I have a, like it does build pressure, but there's definitely air in that line, that without a doubt. So we need to get that all out so this is safe. Uh, but perk is this caliper shouldn't seize anymore, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Anyway, I'll get back with you guys after I go through this route. I'm gonna start cleaning up my mess here too. Okay, so we did a gravity bleed. Once I took the bleeder valve out, and we just opened it up for a while till it filled back up, and then we uh, and we did push the brakes a few times and crack it open, shut it off, crack it open, shut it off in between there, and uh, we're good to go. A lot of people say once you gravity bleed, you don't really need to do that other part, but I just like to be on the safe side, so that's done. Hopefully somebody is coming to look at these wheels and tires today. So I'm hoping very soon, like this week, to be dropping off my platinum wheels over with Greg, and then getting these sent to the next new home. All that good stuff. Here's a part number. This is again for the passenger side front brake line and don't forget copper washers i got copper washers in there but i did have to go buy those anyway guys we're gonna take this truck on a test drive we also are hopefully getting snow this week so we can go play around in with a good running truck this year that i'm not worried about falling apart on me unlike last year and with a few extra ponies under the hood so we should actually be able to do a cool donut video this year Guys, down in the comment section, drop what you want to see happen to the truck next. I want to know what you guys want to see happen on this build next. So drop those comments down below if you haven't hit that subscribe button, guys. If you guys want to see the old brake video I did, it wasn't really a how-to, more of a me complaining about how much I hated this truck at the time. Go see the first comment down in the description, and I'll see you in the next upload.